YouTube, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to my dye series. <laughs> no, I'm not dyeing, I'm just dye cutting. <laughs> Every time I say dye, it's like, just sounds weird. Okay, today I'm going to be using another dye. And I must say, this is one that really gives me chills <laughs> when I think about using it because I want it, but then again, it's kind of intimidating to me, and I don't know why, <laughs> so it is this one. Maybe because it has, like, all those little pieces. <laughs> that could be. <laughs> so, I do have this one organized in my pocket as well, but I had to do two strings, um, strings, two strips of uh, magnets because it doesn't fit only in the front. I will put a card with my die organization up there and in the description, so check it out if you would like to because it's a really, really, really good um, way to store them. I can store so many dies in such a like small spot and I find everything, <laughs> yay! But enough of that. So this has like a ton of pieces. <laughs> And just to not to lose half of it, what happens to me all the time, I cut out those. And as I can see already, I lost this one somewhere because I cut it twice and it was supposed to have two of those. So where's the second one? I have never used that, so bear with me. But as always, I do like to use my stuff on cam for the first time. I'm not one of those who will, you know, pre-make crafts for you and then make them again on cam. <laughs> it just it just doesn't make sense to me because, you know, I can't craft like two of the same thing because there's so many different things I have to craft. <laughs> you have no idea. Okay, I'm going to just fold it wherever you know my score lines are this one gives you some score lines here so fold it to have it all crisp and you know straight preferably and i checked before i used my paper because this paper it is you can call it double-sided i guess because it's green on both sides but it it's only glittery on one side. So I checked my die and it comes with all these little pieces here, which seem to be made <laughs> to decorate the flaps. <laughs> so we will see. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> and if not, I still have the green paper here, right? And I can always put a piece of paper anywhere I want. So, but for now, this is just for the middle. So I'm not gonna touch this right now. I have to figure out this now. And I believe it's pretty simple. All you have to do is to make like a box like this. So I will have to glue and I'm going to get my art glitter glue. <laughs> and just, you need to get art glitter glue. <laughs> Look, it says art <laughs> in big, big letters. So I can see it from, you know, far away because I'm blind. I'm really my, ah. I cannot see anything anymore. I went to my ear doctor today. I call him an ear doctor. <laughs> I can't even hear anymore. Everything seems to get worse. Is it because I get older or because, you know, I don't know, does fiber make you like this? I have no idea. But my ears have always been bad. They are very scarred. I have had a couple bangs let's say this way to my ears so they do have scars but i'm going to glue the flaps i'm trying to glue them straight <laughs> and i love 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 art glitter glue no they are not paying me but i am saying it in like every video when i use the glue <laughs> they do not pay me but i do love it so Dear Art Glitter Glue sellers, <laughs> can you pay me for my advertisement, please? <laughs> I would love to. You don't have to give me money. Just give me some Art Glitter Glue. <laughs> you know, I could share with my friends and make them all use the same glue. I think it's going to be very good for the company. <laughs> okay. Do you think they're going to hire me? I hope so. <laughs> okay. Hey, it was not... 
it was not as bad as I hoped. No, I didn't hope it, but I, I feared it. Let's say it this way. Yes, I feared it. I was afraid it's going to be hard, but it's not. So for now, I have made my little box. And you know what? It looks like mermaidy. <laughs> I might, I might use this box to make another project. But today, I just want to make the box, please. <laughs> Oh, maybe I should have, I'm not sure, should I have done this inside? Let me get the second one. Okay, so there are two, and I'm going to fold them as well. If you think a die is overwhelming, like this one, and I'm pretty sure there is at least one other person who thinks this way, like I do, because there are sometimes, there are sets with so many little pieces, and they overwhelm me, and I don't want to do this. You know what I mean? If you feel this way, try to cut yourself one part and then go ahead and cut another part. Don't cut it all out and then, you know, be overwhelmed and stressed out. But I would say you just glue them in there. So let's just glue them in there. <laughs> if I can do it, you can do it. You know, so let's just do this. right <laughs> okay if I cannot do it you cannot do it no you can still do it if <laughs> even if I can't do it guys I promise I'm just trying to get it straight so this thing with art glitter glue is though you don't have much time you know to move it around and whatever so maybe I should have done just one and then the other flap but it looks pretty straight you know this box is a little bit Wonky, but it looks pretty straight. So I'm going to do the same thing to the second one. And I don't know, it looks really mermaidy to me. Maybe it's time for my mermaid project. <laughs> Who thinks it's time for a mermaid project? I, I believe it's been a year that I wanted to make something mermaid. Oh my God, now this one doesn't want to move. Okay. I wanted to make something mermaid. Did I put glue on the second side? Oh my God. <laughs> See, I should not be talking. And I was wondering why doesn't it get in there? <laughs> there is no glue, Irina. It can't glue. At least there is not enough. I think there was glue, but that was just a tiny bit. It didn't want to glue. Okay, but now it does. Mm. It looks pretty good. So this is supposed to make a card. I think I keep it to dry a little bit before I start folding it and, you know, having it all over the place. But this is supposed to make a card which you can fold up. So once I'm done with this, I can tell, okay, you know, I can see, all right, I want to cut more because I have finished this one. So I would go ahead and just, see, they, they, they just definitely have way too many pieces here <laughs> for my liking, you know. But the good thing is I can just take them all out like this and keep them there. I don't know if I'm going to use any of the banners, but they do have this little ones. Those are like sticks to stick something down, I assume. But these parts look like they are for the flaps because they seem to be, oh yeah, this one seems to be for this flap and the bigger one would be for the lower one. So let's just cut it out and see. Okay, because this looks mermaidy to me. Is there work like that? I went ahead and I um, took the Dollar Tree paper. That's so cool. And I cut that out. And now, <laughs> I see what I did wrong. Not wrong, but I do have to cut them twice. And not only one time. Because right now I have it... Well... No, I have only enough to cover one side, so I need it twice. Magic. <laughs> we have it twice. 
Okay, I must say something. My paper organization I have is a time saver, lifesaver. Because, you know, we do remember most of the times, like deep in our brains, that we do have something, but we don't know where. So I remember that I had like this paper cardstock some from Dollar Tree, but I knew exactly right away where it is, and I got to it in like 10 seconds. Even though I never use it, so it's not in a spot, you know, where I can just get it right away. But the good organization saves my life. <laughs> I don't know. I will um, link a video for you up there and down below on my organization. It's a lot of videos. So I'm thinking about maybe making one with just paper. We will see. But those pieces would go here. And... Uh, yeah, I think I can do it already. So... This is the card that you will be having at the end. You know, you will just fold it and have the card. And when the recipient gets it, they can open it and have like this open card. And I think it's really, really cool. And I'm going to put this. Am I going to? I'm not sure if I should glue them down or not. Or do them in another project. But they are so cool. I do. I'm going to. <laughs> I'm going to glue them down. I'm so going to. I feel like those could be bigger right here. But that's fine because you can still, you know, embellish it with something or whatever. And I'm just going to go ahead and stick them all. Okay, so I glued everything. It also is another day, <laughs> but that's fine. I went through my stash, looked for mermaids, and I found so many cool things in there in my mermaid drawer. But however... First, I wanted just to um, make a video about the box as it is, but I thought, why not? Why don't we just end it and like, you know, do everything to it? So let's do this. <laughs> I went ahead and I got myself some banners with the banner die. I'm so glad I didn't lose it because it's such a tiny piece. I'm glad I didn't lose any pieces of the banners. <laughs> and now I'm really, really hoping and it should work that my little tiny ABC stamps, yeah, they should be just fine. Okay, I got the teeny tiny ABC stamps from AliExpress. And if I find them, I will link them down below because I don't think they do have like a copyright or anything to them. It's just plastic stamps. You can get wherever, however, I hope so. So if they do have a copyright, I apologize because I don't know about it. I cannot know everything here, right? So if I can get it in my mail in Germany, like ordering it from Ali or eBay or whatever, and it comes to me, how am I supposed to know? But enough of that. I do want to stamp out the word hello because, you know, it's just a little... Hello card. It's nothing like hello. Oh my God. The only bad thing about this is, so I ordered them after I bought those at Hobby Lobby and they do have doubles and triples of letters that you use often. So you could actually spell out hello in one, but you cannot do it here because each letter comes once, but that's fine. So I'm going to go ahead and just stamp out hello onto my banner. I love this little tiny alpha stamps. I really do. Because you can stamp out whatever you want to stamp out. You don't have a hello? No problem. Stamp yourself a hello. <laughs> so now I'm going to um, get some string. And I'm going to use this one. Look, <laughs> I can't say it too often. Organize your ribbon and everything in this way. If I remember, I'll put a link in the description and maybe a card up there. 
So just go through the description. So I'm going to cut myself a piece of string right here. And look, you use that, you put your elastic back around it and nothing goes apart or whatever. Okay, now I just want to figure out where I want it to be because I want it to hang down a little bit. And I would say those two parts will be it. And for me, for myself, what I'm going to do is just to <laughs> make a dot. <laughs> I'm making it over here just because uh, uh, I will show you in a sec. That's almost not visible, <laughs> but no, it's almost not visible for you. There, it doesn't make sense. There's a tiny little dot I made just so I know where to start and where to end because I don't want this to be too long or too short. And I'm going to start out, out with my H and they give you a fold line right here, you know. So, but you can also fold, just fold. <laughs> and I'm going to use my, uh, yeah, let me just line it up first and see how it is going to be because afterwards I can just open it and do it. I'm just going to use some glue and stick the words or the banner with a word right onto my string. I will fold them all and then stick them onto my string. Okay, so my banner is ready. It says hello. And you see, I distressed it with my fingers and some distress ink right here. So, you know, it just stands out a little better. Now I need to, um, adhere it to something and you either take like toothpicks or you cut yourself some plastic. So those are the two options. I think both of them are all right. I think I'm going to go with the toothpick, but because they are wooden, of course, I want to put some color on them and I'm going to just pick any one from my markers. All I want for it is to be green. <laughs> So I'm going to just, you know, put some marker on the toothpick so I can actually use that as something else and it's not wooden color. You can also, I'm thinking right now, but I'm not going to do that. I know myself. I'm going to mess up everything. I'm, I'm thinking about putting some glitter on top. They are still wet, so I will let them dry. I'm not going to use them right away because I can feel on my fingers that there is ink coming off onto my fingers. My fingers are going to be green now. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> they don't have to be perfect. They just have to be green, right? So I'm going to let them dry and then move on with the banner. Now they are dry more or less. That's fine. This is how they look like. And I took myself a little piece right here. I want to attach my banner on top first because it's easier for me to do this before I glue it in there. So I'm just going to kind of tie a knot. I'm going to put a bow on top afterwards. So I'm not tying a bow right now. All I'm doing is tying a knot around it just like that. Tying anything is so hard for my fingers, but you get the idea, right? So I'm going to tie it, maybe double knot it. And um, from the leftover, I will just make a little bow. Okay, I tied it around it. Let me move it so you can see. <laughs> I also made the two tiny little bows. I'm going to use my glossy accent for this part. And I'm going to just stick the bows on top. I will cut the strings off later. So I just need to stick them on top for right now. Or to try. 
I'm going to use some pins. Some clothes pins just to keep it there if I can. Oof. I find it really hard to work with tiny pieces like this. Really, really, really hard. So let me do this again. I can just, you know, leave it there, laying down and hoping <laughs> that it's going to be fine. But I don't know if it will. So let me see if I can just hold it there in place. No, I can't. My fingers are really, really bad today. So maybe today is not the day, but okay. Let me just attach the bows right here. I'm not going to do any magic, <laughs> but it's going to take a while. <laughs> okay, it's attached, but I'm not going to touch it. <laughs> I'm going to just put it aside and let it dry for right now. And while this is drying, I decided to just go and just trust my box itself. I'm running out of those. I have to buy those because each distress ink uses its own. And I believe this might be my last one, but that's fine. So all I'm going to do is just, you know, go around the whole thing. I, if I would have known what I'm doing here, I would have rather done this before I glued the whole thing. So, you know, when you're done watching here, and if you decide to make the same thing, do this step right when you cut your um, pieces. It's going to just be easier. It's still possible for me, but it's going to be easier if you do it right away because your piece is going to be like straight, right? So you can just go, go, go. And here I have to move and look and do, <laughs> but it's still fine. Like I said, it's just a tip for you. So I'm going just to go around the whole box, every edge I can find. Can you see it? And just distress it like that. Breathe. You know those days where everything just seems to be going <laughs> harder? <laughs> I did. Adjust my banner right here. Okay, so I can still like fold it. I just want to make sure that once I'm done, my cart will still work out. <laughs> Alrighty, so while my glue gun is hot, I will also put some sequence or bling. I'm thinking bling on the um, little bows right here. Alrighty, so with the help of my quick stick, they do sell it at Joanne's. I just saw it um, yesterday because I was looking for this thing everywhere, everywhere for a long, long, long time. I don't use it every day, but, you know, for things like that, it is very, very useful. So now that I have done that, I have to do a lot of cleaning because there's a lot of hot glue. I have a banner and I know you can see it, but there is another banner of hot glue string <laughs> right there. But I did attach the tops, as you can see right there. And I do have my banner and then it says hello and I like it. And then I'm going to use a little mermaid right here, I think. Am I? think so. A Little Mermaid and I have the word splash I want to put right here and I want to put the little tiny, you know, I colored this long time ago, really long time ago, but I'm going to use just acetate for that. I will just cut myself like pieces of acetate and then stick all of the animals on one part. And then I can always adjust the height of how I want them to be. So I have four things here and I'm going to cut myself four. This is a process, you know, I don't know from the beginning what I am going to do. I also have some of the greenery here. I fussy cut a long time ago as well, but I'm going to do it around the animals. So 
All I'm going to do now is get my little mat right here and attach the animals to the acetate pieces. <sighs> Everything goes just wrong today. I don't know what you saw and I don't know what you didn't, but I just got myself some acetate and I'm going to attach the animals right there. I'm sorry guys, I don't know what it is about this video, but for some reason today is not the day. It's just not. My cam doesn't want to, my dogs don't want to. Now I don't want to either. <laughs> I'm getting upset here. And that's not a good thing when you craft, you know. You should not be upset, you should be just happy. But I'm literally getting upset. I wish there were no problems with making YouTube videos, but there are a lot. <laughs> there are problems with making videos, there are problems with uploading videos, monetizing videos, anything connected to YouTube. If you want to start YouTubing, grow really, really, really thick skin and a lot of nerves. <laughs> gonna take you and if you are thinking that this could be like your job then good luck <laughs> like you know earning money to sustain a family good luck <laughs> because if you get like 50 cents for a video <laughs> which you actually you know put five hours into <laughs> then you know what I mean <laughs> You're getting paid like 10 cents an hour or something like that. Okay, but that's fine with me because I, I'm loving what I'm doing. So, and if it pays me 10 cents an hour and, you know, after a lot, a lot of hours, I can go do some shopping for the money, I'm good with that. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to put this one on here. I need to find a position for my mermaid. Okay, I have decided. <laughs> I have decided that I'm going to do it just like I decided, you know. Just because if I start overthinking, this is not going to end well. I'm going to put her in front. I'm going to put her right here on this part. Just like that. So she's right in there. She's right in there and I'm gonna put some greenery all around her you know I actually stamped them like twice on the same spot to give them a little bit of like a different color and it worked out so well I only have two green colors one is like I don't know what it's called one is lemon and the other one is cactus or something so <laughs> and I'm just going to stick it all the way like here so it's like all around, I guess, if it makes sense. There is green stuff everywhere. Yeah, I should be using you. I know. So something like that. And I'm just going to go around and stick it all everywhere. So. Oh, my God. <laughs> Can I just tell you that I have said quite a few bad words throughout the whole process. <gasps> Gee, it's just because this is, it might look big for you on cam, I don't know, but this is tiny. I mean, look, my thumb, right? So, <laughs> this is super tiny, super tiny. And then to try and stick your fingers in there, it's impossible. It's like one and a half inches deep so um and then you have to stick everything on top of there <laughs> pew but this is what i have done now i also stuck two in the back just to cover up the ends of the sticks so this is how the whole thing looks like and now if i didn't lose them i'm just gonna go ahead and attach my little you know fish right here and everything else just to make it look better and because i have it on sticks of acetate i can just go a little higher and the acetate is not really very visible so i can just go wherever 
whatever I want. So I'm going to just start out with this one. Okay, so no idea where it all ends. I attached the word, I attached the pearls, my cam just films whatever it wants to film. I'm so sorry, guys. I'm so sorry. I will try and, you know, edit the video in the best way I can so it still makes sense, everything, you know. But it's incredible. It is. When everything stops working on you, it's just, oh my God. Okay, and some of the little ones right here as well. And just the touching flat back pearls right there. And I'm trying to go with the smaller ones just because. But then again, I want a bigger one to be there too, so. And I noticed that they are not the same size anyways. <laughs> you know, like the ones that are supposed to be medium, not all of them are the same size. There are some different medium pieces in there. I like flat back pearls, but I hate to be, you know, to have to turn them around all the time. <laughs> Look, it is getting better, right? I would like to put something in the back, but everything I see is just like, it's too much because I have the banner right there. I don't really want to do a lot here. So I'm just going to leave it like that. Look guys, I know it's hard to turn it, and then see the whole thing, but it's good. Now, can I fold it? <laughs> that will be the question. Because some of them I should be able to. Okay, I can fold it. Look. <laughs> and it only is supposed to be folded, you know, to be sent off. And then the recipient opens it <laughs> and there you go. <laughs> But before I send it off, I'm going to take off all the glue strings <laughs> because this just oh, messes with my head here. I don't know. Okay, let me see if I have something else I want to put on top. All right, I'm really missing some bling on this, <laughs> you know, like something sparkly. So I'm just going to take my stickles and, you know, you could do this before you glue all of it so just go ahead and do this and let it dry and then glue it but because i didn't think of stickles at all and i just seem to work this way that i do things backwards you know i just do look you see the sparkle on there so I'm not going to go all over like everything, just a couple of those. And this is going to be hard just because I glued it all already. Now I have to get through like layers of things to put it on there, but that's fine. I will manage. <laughs> I will get it sparkly because I want to. So you can do everything you want. You can, next time if I would do the same card, I would just, like I said, I would do it first and then let it dry and then glue it on the card. Because once you see how tiny this is, actually, you will understand. <laughs> you will understand. Okay, so I just took a couple of those and I put it on a couple of those and now on this one little animal here, which name, of course, I forgot the English name of it. Because it's blue, it's easy. I can just put a little bit of sparkle on this one. <sighs> and I do have some rose gold, actually, but the color is very similar to this scallop here. So 
I will be putting a little bit of sparkle on this one. Oh my god, it's getting better! <laughs> the sparkle does it, <laughs> guys. So put sparkle on your stuff. And Wink of Stella. <laughs> I want to use Wink of Stella on her hair. Because she needs it. She needs to be sparkly as well. I could have done it when I colored her, but yeah. Do you actually tell me? Do you know everything up front and do everything up front? Or are you like me? You know, just do it. And then <laughs> once you're done, you have to redo things because, well, not redo things, but it's much harder to put like Wink of Stella and whatever on top because you were not smart enough to do it in the first place. So tell me. Tell me how you work. Oh, my Wink of Stella is almost done here. But yeah, now everything is glittery and shiny and whatever. Whew, I'm done. I'm done. All I need to do now is to go ahead and take all of the strings off. Okay, I think I managed to take off most of it. <laughs> And I can actually show you the project. Look, this is how it looks. It still has to dry. So now I'm not going to fold it. I folded it before and you saw it. It is folding. The little hello, it's not much visible. It actually is if I stand it down, you know, if I... It's hard to see for you, I guess. But if I stand it down as a person, I can see, like, in front of me, I can see everything. So, this is how it looks like. <laughs> and this came from this dye. <laughs> so, I used most of it. I did not use the stick, the sticks, because it is much easier to cut yourself some, you know. And this is another banner you can use. I did not use this one and the little hearts and stars but everything else was used in here if you can do it better and you have tips and whatever you know leave me a comment of course i will always take tips because that was kind of hard i must say a little bit so just because it's so tiny really like <laughs> i'm thinking about just um taking the measurements and make myself a box which is bigger you know but it worked out pretty well anyways. So I see strings right here. So I have to clean it up a little better, but also I have stickles on top, which means I have to wait until they are dry because otherwise I'm going to mess up everything here. But yeah, what is my problem? My problem is for sure the back, you know, because all of my glue is right there in the back. So I don't know if I would just go ahead and try to stick everything down, but that wouldn't make sense. I would think he stick everything down before I put the dividers in there, but it doesn't really make that much sense. Or cut yourself some dividers, you know, which you can stick on top of those dividers. I don't know if it makes sense. So you arrange everything and you look, and then you just stick it so the back is kind of covered up. I'm about to cut myself a piece of paper and just stick it in the back of each because I really don't like how it looks kind of messy. I don't know. I will see. Maybe I will. Maybe I won't. But I hope you enjoyed this one. I'm very, very, very sorry that there's like hiccups in the video that I might have missed to film some stuff. But just because my cam turned off, you know my cam decided to and I don't know how long this one is gonna be but I will try to cut it shorter if possible and I will try to you know take all the problems out that happened <laughs> I'll do my best I hope you enjoyed anyways and if you did give me thumbs up and share and subscribe of course leave me a comment Tell me if you got the dye. Tell me if you're intimidated by it. Tell me if you have crafted. Maybe you have made 20 
cards already. This is my very first. I've never done anything like that. And I think it turned out pretty good for my first one. So just let me know. And yeah, just enjoy your day, I would say. And I see you in my next video. Bye-bye.